Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mohammad Sohil and today we are going to cover new topic that is fractures. In this video we are going to cover types of fractures, complications and management of fractures. So without any further delay, let's begin with our today's session. First of all, what are the learning objectives of this topic? First we are going to see basic definition of fracture, then what is dislocation and subluxation then what are the general causes, symptoms and sign of fracture then different types of fracture we are going to see then discuss the general principle of the management of fractures then describe the role of radiography in the management of fracture and process of fracture healing and last is state the local and general complication of fracture so these all are the learning objective of this topic first of all we are going to see definition of fracture a break in the continuity of bone or cartilage is known as fracture now what are the causes of fracture first fall from a height then car accident direct blow repetitive forces and pathology then what are the symptoms and sign first swelling or tenderness then second pain third numbness fourth bleeding fifth broken skin with bone protruding and last is limitation or unwillingness to move a limb so these are the definition sign and causes of fractures now coming to the types of fracture first traumatic fracture traumatic fracture include closed fracture open fracture stress fracture and birth fracture first closed fracture a closed fracture is one where the fracture Hematoma does not communicate with the outside. Then second open fracture. This is one where the fracture hematoma communicate with the outside through an open wound. Then third stress fracture. It is a fracture occurring at a site in the bone subject to repeated minor stresses over a period of time. Then last birth fracture. It is a fracture in the newborn children due to injury during delivery. So these are the traumatic fractures. Then coming to the second type of fracture that is pathological fracture. Pathological fracture occurring after a trivial violence in a bone, weakened by some pathological lesion. This lesion may be localized disorder and generalized disorder. Localized disorder includes secondary malignant deposit and generalized disorder include osteoporosis. Then according to the path of the line, there are two types of fracture. First transfer fracture and second oblique fracture a fracture in which the line is perpendicular to the long axis of the bone is called transfer fracture and the fracture in which the lines is at oblique angle to the long axis of the bone is known as oblique fractures then third fracture is the spiral fracture on the basis of path of the line a severe form of oblique fracture in which the plane rotates along the long axis of the bone. This occurs secondary to rotational force. This is known as spiral fracture and a fracture in which the line runs nearly parallel to the long axis of the bone. A longitudinal fracture can be considered a long oblique fracture. This is known longitudinal fractures. Then on the basis of anatomy, fractures are classified as first comminuted fractures the bone is broken into then two fragments. This is known comminuted fractures. Then stellate fractures. These occur in the flat bones of the skull and in the patella, where the fracture lines run in various direction from one point. This is known as stellate fracture. Then coming to fourth, impacted fracture on the basis of anatomy. This is where a vertical forces drives the distal fragment of the fracture into the proximal fragment this is known impacted fracture then depressed fracture these occur in the skull where a segment of the bone get depressed into the cranium this is called depressed fracture then coming to the fifth class on the basis of anatomy that is avulsion fracture this is one where a chip of bone is avulsed by the sudden and unexpected contraction of a powerful muscle from its point of insertion. This is the summary of all type of fractures. 
Now coming to other terms which describing fracture. First, green stick. It is the fracture in the young bone of children where the break is incomplete. That is leaving one cortex intact. Then plastic. Bowing fracture in children without disruption of cortex. Then third, distraction. It is a separation of fragments that have been pulled apart. Then terms used in fracture follow up. First, position which include change or unchanged. Then second, healing that is central or peripheral bony bridging. Now coming to the last topic that is management and healing of fractures. First, principles of management. The main aim is to save life, save the limb and save the function. Now coming to the management. First, efficient first aid. This relieve the pain and prevent complication. Second, safe transport. This help to minimize complication in injuries to the spine fracture of the lower limb, ribs, etc. Third, assessment of condition. Fourth, assessment of local condition. Fifth, resuscitation if needed. Sixth, radiography of the part which include x-ray, post-reduction film, follow-up film and film before removal of plaster to confirm complete healing. Then 7. Reduction of the fracture. Then 8. Immobilization of the fragment which include external fixation that is cast or plaster and internal fixation which include screws, plates, intramedullary nails and rod, wires and pins. Then 9. Early physiotherapy for the preservation of the function of the limb. Then last. Rehabilitation. After union of the fracture to restore full muscle power and joint movement and to make the patient fit for his original job. So this is all about the management of fractures. Now coming to the fracture healing. Fracture healing is considered as a series of phases which occurs in sequence as follows. First inflammatory phase, second reparative phase, third remodeling phase. First inflammatory phase. This phase includes stage or hematoma formation and stage of granulation tissue. Second reparative phase. This phase includes stage of fibrocartilaginous callus and stage of bony callus. Third remodeling phase. Excess material inside bone shaft is replaced by more compact bone. Now coming to the joints dislocation. First what is dislocation? It is the total displacement of the articular end of a bone from the joint cavity. In that, what is subluxation and what is reduction? Subluxation is an incomplete displacement and reduction is the restoration of normal alignment of the bone. Now what are the classification of dislocation? First congenital, second traumatic, third pathological and fourth is paralytic. So these two diagram shows the radiographs of subluxation and dislocation.